this is Jose Cernuda with GreatDivers.com and in this video I want to talk to you guys about the buoyancy of cylinders. Now one of the things that I've talked about before and that's really important is that you understand that as you go through a dive what's going to end up happening is the air that you're consuming or the gas that you're breathing from the cylinder is actually going to affect the buoyancy characteristics of that cylinder. So at the end of the dive that, that cylinder is going to tend to float usually if you're diving with an aluminum 80 at least. If you're diving steel tanks it might be a little bit different but well, most of us dive aluminum 80s. That's the most common tank. You can, of course, dive other tanks, and I recommend that you actually do. But uh, what I wanted to do real quickly for you is, because most people dive aluminum 80s, is just illustrate for you what a difference it makes when you're diving an aluminum cylinder at the end of the t at the end of the dive. So what I have here is an aluminum cylinder that's actually been drained down to 500 psi, which is the reserve pressure here in the United States. And what I've done is I've taken a weight. This is a three-pound weight, which is about a kilo and a half and tied it onto the, the tank itself. So what's gonna happen is if I take the cylinder and I put it inside the water, and I've actually measured this out before, this cylinder is right at the point where it's going to want to float. So right now, if I just take a one pound or a half kilo and I put it on the cylinder, I don't even have to do anything. I just touch it and you're gonna see that that cylinder goes underwater. So it's basically kilo and a half, three, three pounds. It's all that you need in order to weigh down the cylinder to get it to go down underneath the water. It's not much more than that. And this is of course gonna change. If you're diving in the ocean in salt water, this might be a little bit different because of the density, because the fact that the salt water in the ocean is more dense. I'm in fresh water right now, but you always wanna take into account how much weight you actually need and not put more than that. So it's only three pounds, a kilo and a half. The ocean might be a little bit more, but you wanna find out what that number is that you're gonna to need to offset for the positive buoyancy of the tank and then only use that amount of weight. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you click on the like button, make sure you share it with your friends, and make sure you visit my website, greatdivers.com, for more great videos like this one.